this dressing room for the family of Let's see what, I've got this. I'm sure it's on his way. Come on, it's welcome back. How hard can it be? This is on you. Ten seconds, everybody. We're going to open on <coughs> Megan. Camera two. Going in five, four, three. Welcome to Black. I'm Megan Wolf. And on tonight's Culture Spot, I'll be chatting with one of the first beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College who today received a grant from the class to take their play, Hey, Friendship, on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte Wins. The girls, you must be thrilled. We are, Megan. We're overwhelmed, to be honest. <laughs> and I believe you two are sisters, is that right? Yes, Charlotte's my oldest. I'm the older, more popular one. <laughs> and Jacob. Harriet and Frey were really the ones who came up with the whole idea. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze in the cafeteria, and I said, hey, let's actually do something. So I went to look for a drama teacher. Uh, but she'd been laid off due to budget. See? I directed a pantomime when I was at university, so, so I knew the ropes, as it were. Oh, right, yes, but you're the maths teacher, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's me, Jeff Algebra, maths teacher. Maths is really important. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks, Steve. As is theatre. It's one of the oldest art forms in history, and I just think that when we travel around all these problem schools and the poor kids see us, they say, hey, I really want to be like those attractive kids. And that's a very beautiful and powerful thing. We touch our audiences, and they touch us right back. I suppose with a surname like Algebra, there was really only one choice of career for me. <laughs> My wife, Angela, and I, we often laugh about it. <laughs> Angela Algebra. Yes. <laughs> we just want to bring a bit of song and joy into people's lives. And I teach people about the difficult issues. The issues in the play are what really matter. And I think you're going to be showing us an extract from this play, aren't you? That's right. Put in context, I play a young first year who's having some troubles at school. Her character doesn't actually have a name, yeah, because in a way she's like all of us. It's like a metaphor. Maybe she's you at home, or like maybe she's you, Megan. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Put it in, coach. Yes, thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm going to have a little chat with your teacher while you run off and get ready. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, that way. <clears throat> so, Jeff, when did you first hear about the grant? Uh, two days. Master thought it was all a prank, but his secretary retrieved it from his bin and brought it to me. How? How did you react? I also threw it in the bin. But then Harriet and Trey rescued it, and uh, they, they, they rang the number at the bottom of the page. And next thing you know, we're on tour. Wow. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from now on. Do you know what? It's funny because Angela and I don't usually vote. We we're not very political. I'm a mathematician, of course, and she's a paraplegic mainly. But we did used to watch that Peter Clements DIY show back in the day, and so we thought, uh, why not? Let's have a go with this whole democracy thing. Okay. And here we back. Well, well are. <laughs> Good stuff. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> so let's have a look at a short section of Hey, Friendship. <laughs> Dear diary, I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. Another day of tears. Tears. Another day of fears. But still I walk the corridors alone. Alone. Oh. Dreading what might be around every corner. What's around the corner? What's around the corner? What's around the corner? Oh, hi, Gary. Oh, heavens no! It's Gary the Fist! Gary the Fist! Going somewhere, little first year? Great. I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning. But will this make me feel better about my violent father? Violent father. Excuse me, I'm late for maths. It's my favourite subject. It's so important. Double 
wonderful lunch for me today, but why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? Not today, Gary the Fist. What do you mean, not today? Who are you? Oh, my arm's free coat. Brilliant, keep going. Right, uh, uh, who are you to stand up to me? I, Gary the Fist, and you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all alone. That's where you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new friends. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. But, but, I can't fight all three of you. And I don't have any friends of my own. Take a look at me. Take a little look at my face I could be you She could be you And you could be me Or you could be me I can be cheeky If you work as a team Hey, Mr. Nut, I won't take no crap. Who said middle class girls can't rap? I ain't afraid of your cool, cool nuts. I'm a mother loving rebel, but I still love nuts. Hey. Kids, I'm Gary the Fist. People think the folks like me probably shouldn't exist. But that's just prejudice. And I'd do better if you knew the way that I became Gary, Gary the Fist. Fist. I grew up on a council estate. The park was hip, but the flats weren't great. My dad used to come home drunk and late. And he'd hit my mum for dinner. He had to wait. Of course, my dinner. Oh. Hitting women is wrong. I guess life's pretty hard on a council estate. 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 It's so damn hard on a council estate. Thankfully, that's all we have time for tonight on the National Nightly News. Join us tomorrow night for all the headlines from across the country. My name's Jeremy Dalton. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. Oh, that was brilliant. What the little fuck was that? <laughs>